Hello, my most amazing artists. Welcome to Art Class with Christy. We're back here again. Painting and drawing. Always painting and drawing. Um, today we are going to do this guy. He's a pretty cool squirrel. Um, this one's on canvas. If you have a canvas, you can use a canvas. I'm gonna use paper today. We're gonna to draw along together. I'm gonna to show you what you need to grab. If you are painting, you're gonna need some acrylic paints. Mine are in my ice cube tray. You could totally do this guy in watercolor. So if you've got a watercolor palette and you don't have paints, you can use watercolor. You can use textures, you can color him in with crayons, you could use pencils. However you want to color is totally cool. You're going to need paper if you use paper. Mine's a little bit heavier. Um, you can use any size you like. Mine's a big A3 size, but you can use any size. Lead pencil, rubber if you want. A, I'm going to use probably a Posca paint pen. This is a black one, oh, upside down. There we go. Or you can use a permanent marker or a Sharpie, same, same. Pot of water. I'm going to draw in my black pencil. We're going to draw some up. I'm going to pause my pencil down. If I pause with my heart shape, then you can go and get your supplies. Go now. I'll wait for you. Unpause. You guys should have all your supplies now. We're going to draw some shapes, some really fun shapes. And just like magic, this guy is going to appear. Yeah. Ooh. All right, first shape. So his tail is quite wide. So I'm going to leave some space on this side. So I'm going to move him. I'm not going to put my shapes in the middle. I'm going to move him just off the center. So I'm going to put an oval shape here. Now, if I go too fast, what do you need to do? That's right. You don't need to put your hand up because I can't see you right now. <laughs> you just need to press pause and I will wait for you. Then unpause me. Our next shape is, it's a great big U shape. So we're gonna come down, around and up. Cool. We're gonna give him some ears. So I'm gonna put, they're like a triangle shape without a bottom on it. Or, or an upside down V. We need two, a big one and a small one. And he has two of those. Both sides. Then I'm gonna put this rainbow shape in his tummy. Just like that. And then I remember when, when we've done this guy in art class this year, when we drew his legs, one of my amazing artists said, oh, that looks like half a dog bone. So I want you to draw a half a dog bone. So it's going to come down. It's like a W shape and up. Can you see how that's like half a dog bone and up? They don't have to be super duper skinny. But they go nearly to the bottom of the page. If you don't have much room, yours might be little. If you have lots of room, you could give him really long ones. I could run really fast to get the acorns. Okay, tail. So watch first and then you can do. So I'm gonna start down here right at the bottom and I'm gonna come up. And it gets big at the top. Oh, I nearly went off the page. And a big fluffy bit there. And then it comes a bit skinnier down here. However you do, your tail is perfect. Perfect. Then we're going to put his, um, his nose mouthy bit in. So, another rainbow shape. We like to draw lots of rainbow shapes in our place. And then his nose is one of those V's again. This time I'm going to bring this bit all the way down. And he's got these chompy teeth. So I'm going to give him his chompy teeth. They kind of go into his body here. It looks like they're on his body. 
because he's got great big chubby teeth. We need two circles up here for eyes. Oh, my black pencil has just, I was pushing really hard. Let me swap. Two circles for eyes. I'm not gonna put the pupils in. Why do you think I won't put the pupils in? If you've done some of my classes, you will know the answer to this. And that's right. Because when we paint this in, we'll paint over the top of the pupil and you won't see it. So I'm not going to put the pupils in here. If you're colouring with pencil or texture, you can totally do that. You can put the pupils in now, but we're painting. And he's got these arms here. I don't know that you guys can see. Um, let me bring him close. See his arms? I'm not going to put those in either because I'm painting. Why? Same reason. You're right. You're so clever. You guys, you guys are so clever. So I'm going to leave this empty, but I'm going to remember in my head that I'm going to come back and pop that detail in with my permanent marker or my poster. Cheeks. Teeny tiny pink cheeks. And I don't have enough room here to do these acorns here. So I can use my creative license because you guys have one too. Did you know you have a creative license? I've just remembered. We haven't had a practice draw. We don't even need one. You can treat this as your practice draw if you want to, but I'm feeling really um, super in the mood already today. So let's just go with it. So, oh, I didn't even tell you what shape to draw. So you're going to draw a rainbow shape and join it up. Then we're going to put a u-shape underneath and then like a little open rectangle i'm going to bring it close so you can have a look and i'm actually going to draw this one here so we're going to go rainbow shape join it up u-shape and then a little helmet and i know in our class when we did it in art class, and I'm going to paint over this, but you can totally do it too. Our acorns, I made, and I'm not going to go all. See, hello, hello, acorn, hello, acorn. How are you? Oh, yep, there's a big squirrel up there. <laughs> Things get a bit crazy in here when I'm talking to nobody and everybody at the same time. So, that's all the drawing we need to do today. Haven't done a practice drawing, that's okay. We can roll with it. We're gonna paint this squirrel first. So pencils down and then you can, I'm just gonna check my palette and would you believe I don't even have brown in my palette? That was very not clever, was it? So I'm gonna quickly grab that. I'm so glad you guys are patient with me. Thank you for being patient with me. Sometimes it's a lot still learning new things and I am still learning big time. So I'm just going to pour some paint. It doesn't even want to come out of the tube. There we go. Paint and shake my paint. Oh, more paint, yeah. If we were in art class, I'd say that wasn't me. I don't know if you guys will get that, but maybe you will. We're sometimes a little bit silly in art class, but it's fun. Art should be fun, right? Yeah. All right, squirrel painting. I am going to use my little brush because I need to start. I'm going to start up here and go around the outside with the dark brown. I picked a bit, bit of a bit, a bit of a different dark brown today. So I'm gonna start up here, fill in the outside of the ears. And go around the outside, that's it. Remember, we don't want gloopy bits. A gloopy bit is where you've got thick patches of paint on your artwork. 
Why don't we want gloopy bits? That's right. It takes too long to dry. And I'm not very patient. I like my artwork to dry as quick as it can. So make sure you spread your paint out. Spread out, go really carefully. You can see I'm going really carefully around those eyes and the cheeks. Go really carefully, spread it all out. Right into the corner. That's it. I'm really close to mine so I can see. And when I dip in my paint, can you see I haven't dipped it all the way into the silver? I just want to stay on the bristles. Otherwise I will, I know, trust me, I know I'll end up with gloopy bits. And I hold my paintbrush like a pencil because it gives me nice control. And you can tell I'm taking my time. So take your time. To fill it in, take your time. All right, I'm going to come down. I'm actually going to change brushes because this is a big patch here to fill in and this bit and this bit. And I know I can use my medium brush to do that. Nice long strokes. When I get around to the, to the tricky bits to paint, so down here, if I think it's tricky, and it doesn't matter if I go in the tail because the tail is connected to the body. Nice big long strokes. Careful around his teeth. We want those teeth to stay as white as we can. As, as we can. Up here, make sure you fill in all those bits there. You can even swap between your big, your medium brush and your small brush. If I turn this brush on its side, you see, it's a bit pointier. So I know I can, if I'm really careful, I can do those cornery bits. All the way down around there, around his tummy. Down here, I missed a little bit there. Up to his tail. Nice big long strokes, make sure you spread. I can see where my paint's thicker and I'm spreading it right out. Down to his feet. I could actually almost change. I'm going to change to my smaller brush. Just so I stay nice and neat in there. That's better. So you can do that too. If you want to, you can tell when you need to change brushes. Fab. Now I'm going to paint the bottom of my acorns in today. That brownie colour. Spread it out so it's not there's no gloopies. 
and I can tell it's already starting to dry, which is really cool. Next, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to do this bit and this bit. So I've got a bit uh, lighter brown for that colour. I'm going to use my smaller paintbrush again, it's nice and clean. So I'm going to go around his nose, I don't want to paint in his nose. And I can still see the lines. You may or may not be able to see the lines where you've drawn. You might be able to see them really lightly and that's okay. Spread it right out. If you're painting outside or in the sun, it will dry really super fast. Or in a warm room, it's really warm in here, so I know that it's already drying really fast, which is cool. Oh, and the inside of the ears. Just little bits. Don't need lots of paint on your brush. You only need a little bit of paint on your brush. Spread it out. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat. Fabo. Starting to look like a groovy squirrel. All right, I'm gonna do the cheeks and I think I'm gonna do the top of my acorns pink today. So I've got this really rosy pink. So it's still a small brush. I've just give it a, given it a really good clean. He's, been, he's got pink cheeks because he's been gathering lots of acorns. You could do your acorns whatever colour you like. They don't have to be any specific colour. You could probably even do your squirrel, whatever colour you like. Your artwork, I'm okay with that. If you want to be adventurous and do a really wild, colourful squirrel, go for it. Just go for it, do it. I'd love to see it. I would love, love, love to see it. I'd love to see all your squirrels actually. All right. I am going to paint in these eyes white, even though they're white on the paper. Sometimes we can choose to leave it white, but I'm going to paint them in white today. And his teeth. Really, really carefully, really, really, really carefully. Cool. Now I can paint his nose in, or I could colour it in with a Posca at the end if I wanted to. I've actually got black paint here, so I'm going to colour it in with black paint. Fabo. Okay. We're up to paint the background. This is going super duper fast. I think it's because I forgot to do a practice draw, but that's okay. It's pretty cool. Now in art class, you get to pick whatever color background you like. You might even, you could mix it up. You don't have to do the same color background as me. I've done like some aquas and some dark turquoise. And then when it was dry, I put some tiny sprays of pink through it. But you can totally make yours whatever colour you like. I'm looking at my palette today and I'm thinking I've got lots of aqua, this colour, which is one of my favourite colours. Um, and I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to go with that today, which is, it's fairly similar to this. So I'm going to really carefully, I actually probably should put a bit of a line I like it in art class when we put a line around our paintings. Oh look, 
my paintbrush friends have come back to play. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Can I borrow some paint? Sure. Yeah, she doesn't like it when we waste paint, put it in the water. <laughs> okay, I'm good. You can go in the water now. Told you it's a bit crazy in here. <laughs> oh. I love that you guys get me. I love it that all my amazing artists know that this is how we roll in art class. It's a lot of art. It's lots of fun. It's a fair bit of mess. So if you were a little human and you are painting this today, I want to make sure that you thank your big human for letting you paint if you're painting. Because sometimes it's a big deal to have to set up paints. In the studio, it's easy for me to set up paints. But at home, sometimes it's a bit tricky. So make sure you say thank you to your big human if they have let you paint today. Or if you're allowed to paint today. And if, you're, if you haven't painted and you're using textures and pencils, you still need to clean up your space. Spotless space, spectacularly spotless spaces. That's what we have in the studio. We do. If you have a spectacularly spotless space, you are eligible for a smelly sticker off me, which is kind of cool, because I love smelly stickers. I'm probably going to stay with my this size brush. I thought that I would jump between both, but this one, I know that I can be nice and neat and have really good control. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to stay with this brush. And you can see I've got some white spaces. I bring this one close. I've got some tiny little white bits around the edge. That's okay, I kind of like that. So if you've got that too, that's okay. If you'd like to go all the way up to your squirrel and paint right around the, the close hard on the edge, that's cool. You can do that. I like it. It's looking cool. Nice long brush stroke still though. Careful around the acorns. Up the top, just this little bit to go. Really careful. And now I'm going to leave a little because I've got this blue colour. I'm going to get a dry brush, uh, another medium one that's dry. This one's dry. And I'm going to dip it in just the tip. Can you see that? And then I'm going to go. Just the tip, just a little bit of paint at a time, and it will blend with that turquoise. It's still a little bit wet, but it'll make it look a little bit interesting. And I'm all about having artwork that looks interesting. Try not to be gloopy with it. I think that's starting to stick to my, there we go. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You don't have to do this bit if you don't want to, but you totally can if you want to. And lots of my aqua, that turquoise colour is already starting to dry, I can tell, which is fabulous. And if I step back and have a look, because I'm not really close and I'm sideways, so sometimes it's a bit wonky for me to see. Yeah, that looks cool. It looks really cool. Um, he needs a little, oh, that's a bit. 
So even I still have blooping bits and I have to go, oh, loose it would be. Um, I think if I hit it with the paint, with the heat gun, just for a minute, I'll be able to finish it with you. So I'm gonna grab my heat gun, switch it on. You might like to have a little dance around. You can have a little break. You all, you might sit yours in the sun so it dries really well. Of course, if you've done one of my classes, you will know that when we use a Fusca paint pen or a marker, a Sharpie, um, they are not friends with paint. Even though it's called a Fusca paint pen, it is not friends with wet paint. So we need a really dry page to be able to do our details. If you wanted to and you don't have a Sharpie or a Posca paint pen, you could use a tiny brush and black paint all the way around the outside and do the details that way. Totally, you can do that. I'm just having a look, make sure we're pretty good. Like I said, it's really warming here today. So I'm just making sure the edges of this are several is nice and dry. And I think that is good. Let me hang this back up. And I'm gonna get my Fusca paint pen. Now, in our class, when we're up to this stage, I would say you need to outline, and my artists would say absolutely everything. And I know that if they're watching, they're going, oh, she's it. Absolutely everything. Everything gets outlined. So we are going to outline the ears and come around. Outline inside the ear. I'm going to move to the eyes. I'm doing it this way because as I go down my hand won't go across over. So it won't rub my artwork. So if I work from top to bottom, then I'm less likely to go over any wet spaces with the Posca paint pen. Same deal if you're going to paint it in. Cheeks, cheeks. I'm gonna outline that nose, this bit. That's it. Oh. And around here, around his face, up to meet the other ear. I know there's a line here, and I want to outline those teeth so they pop out so everybody can see. He's a really good acorn hunter. Now remember we, we didn't draw in his arms? So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to draw in up a dog bone. Gonna, this keeps flicking up so you guys can see it better. I'm going to stick that down. That's better. And another half a dog bone. Whoop, that one was a bit wider. Around his body. Take your time. I'm separating his tail from his body, around his tummy. I'm going to come up and do that great big bushy tail, cool. His legs. And the acorns. I'm going to put my, I can still see the faces that I drew in there. So I'm going to put some um, pattern in the bottom of the acorn. On here, I've done it in the top. You can if you want to, you don't have to. If you wanted to, you could draw faces in there. It's your artwork, go for it if you want to. 
He might not eat his acorns if there's faces in there. He might go, oh no, we can't eat an acorn with a face. Um, yeah, I want to, on this one, You, oh yeah, you can probably see it. With my skinny brush, I'm going to grab some white. Have I outlined? I need to check. Yes, I've gotten everything. I'm just going to grab a little bit of white. And up here, he's got some spots. Just tiny weeny ones. Teeny tiny weeny ones on his face that just makes him look interesting. Remember I said I like interesting? And down here, I've just done some little dashes. Because it's like his tummy fur. It's the fur on his tummy. And that can, that can just dry because we don't need to put our hand over it. I can call him done, but not finished. And if you've done my class before, you know why he's not finished. Why is he not finished? You are right. You have to sign him. And when I say sign him, I mean you have to write your name. You can see I've written my name here. I'm actually gonna use a Sharpie because this Posca is really quite thick and I want it a little bit thinner today. Actually, I'm gonna leave a little. I'm gonna use this. And in my art class, you can sign your artwork wherever you like, but you must sign it. So you have to write your name. When I sign my artwork, I write love Christy, like a love heart and then Christy, because your art requires your signature. So. I just said I'm going to live a little. In my art class, you can sign it anywhere, anywhere you like. Um, usually, I would sign my artwork down the bottom here, but I'm feeling a bit bold today. So, I'm going to sign it up here in his tail. And I'm going to sign it a little bit bigger than what I usually would. Can you see that? <gasps> I know, right? I've used my creative license to be a little bit different today. I'm going to bring it close so you can see. Because now I can call him finished. Can you see him? He looks super cute. I love him. And I would love to see your squirrels that you've made. So, once you've cleaned up your mess, you have a spectacularly spotless space. And you have thanked your human for letting you create art wherever you are today. Can you ask your human and say, please, my big human, could you send a picture to Christy? She would so love to see it. That way I still feel like I'm connected to you guys and I, I love to see your artworks. That makes me smile all day long. Um, I think that's all I have to let you know. I, I've been forgetting that bit. You know, I can't remember everything all at once so much. But I hope that you have loved painting with me today. I have loved having you here. And until I see you again, happy creating, happy painting, keep drawing. I'll see you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs> I can't get it to stop. I'm going to have to push the button.